job on for the mud terrain tyres and these tow ropes are coming with us as well. The only negative is that I didn't expect to get a job this quick with the mud terrains. So I've got all terrains, but this job that I've had, um, it doesn't look great. And I've only had a few amount of photos. Um, another company, I think they call themselves Burke something or other. Um, they've sent a lorry out and it's got stuck straight away and it's not even remotely near the job. So all I can do is get there and get these wheels on and get the job done. I am going to be taking all necessary winching equipment for this particular job um and yeah a ford ford c max or something went to the bottom of some field um got well and truly stuck but at the minute we're on nearly five o'clock um the sun is still out but 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 light is not going to be here forever so it was important I get these wheels banged on as quick as I can and get over to Rugeley. Got about 40 minutes of travel time with these beautiful tyres. Might take me that little bit longer. I'm going to go equipped with ground anchors as well, just in case if I get stuck. And obviously we're going to bang on the winch on the back end of this, or I'm at least going to put it in the boot for now. So yeah, going to rush, got to get cracking. Time is not on our side right now. She's left it a little bit late. But hey, someone has got to get the job done. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Mr. GDB, getting ready to go. Okay. Hopefully we won't need these. Ah. But they're there if we need them, the new ride on wheel chocks, but fingers crossed we don't. Hello YouTubers, just a quick one. I'm not gonna video much beforehand, but we've got a lady with a Ford. It's been stuck in a field since last night. A uh, local company to us called Burke something, Burke Bros, Burke Bros or something. Um, they've got stuck sending a lorry into a field. Um, I say no more, I'll see you when we get there. Hopefully you enjoy this one. So I've just took a phone call off the lady. She said, Burt bros, the other truck's turned up, but she's gonna stand in the way so I can get in the field first before they start pulling their own truck out. So fair play, because I don't wanna be waiting. This lady's obviously getting charged as well by the, um, by the hour. So the last thing we want is her, um, the last thing we want to be doing is charging her whilst we get there because we're charging from the hour by the moment we get there on foot. So yeah, if the lady doesn't mind standing there at the minute, I'm literally three minutes away on the sat nav and that will be absolutely golden. Um, absolutely golden, but I am rushing to get there, but I can only drive so quick and we've got these lovely little speed bumps. Oh, I just hope this postcode takes us right to where they are. Fingers crossed. But either way, we should see one of the Burke's big lorries, I would assume. Or it might be one of them in the 4x4 to pull their lorry out. But we are nearly there. Nearly there. And currently got the new Comforcer. 
Comforcer mud terrain tyres on. I've not even had a little bit of wobble at 60 mile an hour. I am way impressed at the minute. Road handling isn't great, don't get me wrong, I can feel the difference in the tyres. But these are for these muddy jobs only. And the other thing, I've got a lot of weight in this disco, so that's not going to work in my favours. But I've got a lot of equipment in here to get this job done. Yep, yeah, there's the Burke Heavy. On scene. Sweet. Says no entry, but we're going through. First bit of off road. Oh. Is it a Burke? I don't know if it is. Oh, it is. On scene. Oh, yeah. Where are we going? Down there. Right. Fantastic. I will. Um, good luck with that lorry getting down here though, because that's going to be tight. How the bloody hell have they got a tilt and slide down here? How have they got a tilt and slide down here? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. It can't be a tilt and slide down here. Nobody in the right frame of mind would send a tilt and slide truck down this track. Surely not. But hey, let's get some footage. I'd love to say yes, but I need to get this woman out because I'm yeah. charging her by the hour. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, Can you get that yeah, yeah, I'll be sound. Yeah, yeah, sound. Thanks. Jesus Christ. No way. No way. This isn't really a field, is it? Look at that. We're going to park here. Oh, this will be a sound job. This will be absolutely sound. It's official. We are on scene with the Ford Focus E S Max, C Max, whatever you want to call it. But that will be absolutely sound. Absolutely sound. Oh, I'm sorry. I've just got to get a photo. I have just got to get a photo. That is an absolute job. Sorry, Bert Bros, but. Oh, my God. I think before that heavy wrecker gets in, we are literally just going to pull this forward. That is literally all we're doing. Look at the ground. Could have done this in all terrains. This is just cheeky. This is just cheeky. Yes, I will get it out. I'm going to pull this on the toe and eye. For literally the purpose of this, everyone watching, this is getting pulled exactly where it is. We're going to type that toe and eye, make it a bit stronger, and we're pulling this on a rope all the way out. We'll have no problem, this is okay. This you is reckon? okay. You reckon? Oh my god, that should not be down here. Wow! That truck? What should be down there? That truck? What should be down there? That? <gasps> yeah, well, I want this out before that bloody wrecker comes down. Oh, go, huh? Nah. Too big, are you? Yep. No, I can use something on the lower arms if I need to. It's not having any thread to be fair. Have you already tried pulling on it? I'm guessing, yeah. No, no. yeah, that's not going to go. Is this the one for the car? Is it? The one for the car, Oh, oh, so this isn't the right one then. Where is it? Can I quickly have a look at it? Ah, oh, no keys for the car. Oh, he's coming now. Right, right, right. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, that one definitely ain't right. I know that much, so um, keep hold of that. Right, no worries. 
Uh, not towing eyes, no. But we won't need it. it. It's not the end of the world to use it, but because that's fairly flat ground, I don't mind just giving it a cheeky pull to get it out, and then I'll put you on a rope and uh, get you all the way to the top. I want to try and see if it will fit like. It's a big silver thing, but we couldn't get it in yesterday. Wait a minute, uh, there's proper tight noise in here. Hi. Sweet. The proper. Yeah, that's the one for this car, yeah? Right. Was. <coughs> What's this? Is this the one for this car? Yes. Yeah. Should go really. Pride in the thread's not been knackered. That's alright, that, I think. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that's got bite. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Should be, yeah. The other one did, and it went so far, and then it would knacker. Now, it's under normal, if there was a lot of pressure on this, yeah. I wouldn't use it. But we haven't got, we're not stuck in mud mud, so all it needs is just a little nudge and that's it to be honest. Gonna I'm going to try and pull it straight out. Yeah, if you want to sit in the hot seat for me. Yeah. And we want to get round that bloody thing. <laughs> yeah. Right to the top. Yeah, yeah, I will do mate, don't worry about that. You just steer for me. If there's ever any issue, just beat the old horn like. Yeah, I'll put that in my truck in a sec. Yeah, I get plenty to be honest, plenty. <clears throat> All this equipment. You want to put this one in the drive? You got a name to touch the rail? What the way? Good job. Yeah, that's all. And if you just want to stand just somewhere over there, just for the first bit of a pull. <coughs> Ah, oh, bet. <clears throat> yeah, just stand a bit further back for me if you don't mind. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a small tug at first and it should lift it straight up. There's not much digging that in at all. And brake off and in drive. Once we get just up to that truck, I'm just going to stop and then I'll come and give you some more guidance, okay? I'll come to you one sec. Oh, oh you got to, haven't you? You got to. Yeah. There we go. Hand brake off, yeah? Cool. Right, I'm just going to grab my camera and then uh, we'll pull it straight up to the top. Like oh, it won't be, I don't think. I'll make them move out of the way. Yeah. 
Okay, that man. Look at that. Job's done, man. Job is done. I'm sorry, but this has got to go on YouTube, boys. Look at that. 22 plate, man. Sorry, Sam. Right, are you ready for this pull all the way up to the top? Beautiful. Tell them, say, I'll put it up in the street. Aye! <laughs> right, sorted. Don't want it in low range? No. Give it a go. Is that he's going to stand up for you? Yeah, I bet he's going to Jesus. At least out. Out. I'm surprised you didn't send a 4 before down. Let me just get your toe and eye out. Uh, yeah, there weren't much pressure going through that, to be honest, so um, that was ideal. Yeah, left hand thread, you see, if you want to put that back where that, you want yeah. it. <clears throat> and there's nothing more to pay either, nothing more. Like I say, it's always to have photos just makes life a hell of a lot easier because I've probably come a little bit more over equipped for this particular one from now. I've seen it myself, um, but it's one of them things. The main thing, it's out. Well, that's it, is, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. 
I don't, I, if that gets stuck there, mate, you've got no problem. No, forget it now. Get you talking into an all bloody night job, to be honest with that. All night. Um, just take a photo of this and it's out, and then yeah, that's, that's it, fine. really. Thank so, it's all right, mate. <clears throat> yeah. Hi. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I do run quite a busy schedule to be honest. Um but like I say it all goes down to just having the, the right kit and stuff to get the job done and the more photos I get, like I've yeah, these tires were pretty alright for being down there to be honest, because the other ones we have are all terrains, but that was ideal. But yeah, I've come bloody well equipped with everything for you. I thought just in case I've got another winch in the back off road boards, ground pins. Yeah. That's why I got everything ready for you. I didn't know what I was coming to. Well, you don't, do you? Half the time. Yeah, so I got all, right. all the gear and no idea, some would say. <laughs> but yeah, sorted. Um, no problem. I'll just see if these want a little, if they want me to stay to give them a chuck, but uh, the boss will have to pay us anyhow. Didn't uh, doubt it. Just get your mileage on there. That's it. I get this camping stuff out. Hmm. Just be careful on your tyres just coming out a bit because it will be a yeah, little bit no, pants with yeah, the mud on like so. No worries, all the best. I've come way over equipped for that but I only had two photos which I will attach. I asked for more um, signal apparently pants and all of that, that's fine, no problem. But that job got done but I'm sorry, I'm sorry lads. Um, why the hell do you send a tilt and a slide truck down that track? That's just... I, you know, we all have to start out somewhere, don't get me wrong, but you're, them lads, they should be, well, they are trained, aren't they, to the best of standards, because you're the number one leading bloody breakdown business, and I don't want to slate anybody off, but that should never have happened, um, they've got apparently two of their four befores coming out, I did say, look, do you want to ring up the owner, Sam, hi Sam, thanks for watching, um, if you want any help, he says, nah, so, you know, it's fine, no problem, um, you know, I always like to try and keep all friends in this industry where you can, because sometimes you need help. I might need help one day, vice versa, Sam, you and your lads today. But hey, you um, trod on me toes too many times and that's that. So enjoy wasting some of your resources on that job later on. Anyway, that's it. My customers are happy as Larry. They are over the moon. I do not normally go off toe and eyes, but that particular job, there was no I don't even know how they moved it 10 meters earlier to be honest Dan because that is that's as nice as jobs get trust me and I've got way over equipped for this all-terrain tires I think I could have just done it um, but having those Comforcer tires with the mud terrain tread pattern it did definitely work a wonder especially going up that steep bank so I'm um, very happy at that so that's it time to get this one wrapped up if you like what you see like and subscribe Land Rover Discovery 4 landmark edition I'm very happy she got the job done. Didn't even need low range, didn't even need it. That's what the disco does, it is a tool, it is a weapon, it is a beast. That is me done and sorted, back on the road. If you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Mr. GDB, over and out. It's mad to think, isn't it? I took all this equipment in here and all the equipment in here for a job that literally just needed the correct toe and eye putting in and a little bit of toe rope. That was it. Isn't that just crazy? But yeah, job's done. I'm at home. Just gonna swap the wheels back over to my all terrains because you don't want to drive on them tires all the time. But I must admit, I was very impressed with them. The Comforcer tires. Um, if you've not heard about them, check them out. There's not many around. Um, I think they're a Chinese brand, but they were absolutely sweet for that job. Absolutely sweet. So I'm just going to tidy out my Land Rover, put it back to normal, and that's it. So moral of that story is, um, for the other operators, and which I normally do is walk the job before you get committed, especially with something like that in that type of a truck, because that is... I ain't got a word. That, that truck should never have gone down there full stop. Um, I don't know at what point he thought as he was going down thinking, yeah, this is all right. Nah, the first moment on that track, forget it. That's it though. Um, you live and you learn. Life goes on. I got the job done. Hopefully enjoy the content, but we never had to put this disco to proper work today. But hey, it's one of them. Um, but happy at that. It was a good outcome. Customer in the end was over the moon. And the car's been there since last night because obviously she rang up her breakdown provider. 
and obviously the operator's only just gone out at nearly four o'clock in the afternoon or whatever. So yeah, cool. Well happy with that. Good result. I like it. Yeah, cool. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. What do I say now? Oh yeah, thanks for watching. That's Mr. GDB over and out. Okay, let's go.